God does still speak to his people. And it is his desire that you should listen to his voice. He does not wish anyone to perish, but he wants to save you. That is the reason as to why he wants you to hear his voice. Because he has an instruction for you. He has a warning for you. He, 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 that's why he, he wants you to listen to his voice. Now, there are different forms of media. And there, is, there are different ways that the media conveys its message to the people. The first thing, it could, it could be through the newspapers. When you, when, you, when you buy the newspapers and you read the newspapers, the news articles. The other thing, it could be through the television, through various TV stations like Fox News, CNN, BBC. Then you have uh, the radio. The media conveys its information through those different platforms. But then I said, in the previous video, I emphasized on the radio. I said, it is like someone who buys a radio and from the first day until the end of the year, he's listening to one or two, three radio stations. It doesn't mean that other radio stations are not working or are not in operational. It means that he has chosen to listen to one or two one or three radio station the frequency he, he has not yet tuned into the other radio stations or it could be he does not have the batteries the power to run up the, uh, the radio that's why he has not listened to, 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 to the stations so uh, and, and i want us to make a recap on what I said in the previous video, I say there are different ways that, that God will speak to you. The first thing that I say, He uses His Word. He will speak to you through His Word. Uh, the Word being the Scriptures, the Bible. When you read His Word, He will speak to you. He will have a healing for you. He will have a, 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 there is a portion in it that, that will speak about your current situation, your predicament, uh, uh, your addiction. Then I said that the God will use also people to speak to you. He can use someone that you know or someone that you do not know. He can use your adversary or your friend to speak to you. I give an example. An example is, 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 is Samuel. Samuel, when he was under the care of Eli, the chief priest, and God spoke to Samuel, and Samuel knew not the voice of God. But when Samuel ran to Eli, Samuel realized that it was not Eli who was speaking to him. Though the voice of God sounded similar to the voice of Eli, the priest, it wasn't Eli. It was God who was speaking to him. So Samuel had to discern. Then, I, then another way that I say that God speaks to you is through dreams and vision. I, I, an example is, is when Job said uh, that God speaks through dreams and visions, uh, but man does not perceive it. So uh, God will also speak to you through animals. I gave an example in, in the book of Numbers where Balaam was, was spoken to by a donkey. A donkey spoke to him and God was warning him. He was about to go into a wrong direction where there was an angel with a drawn sword ready to strike him. So those are the various ways that I see that God will use to speak to you. God can even use an audible voice that I, I said. He still uses, he still speaks through an audible voice. Though through an audible voice, it's rare these days for God to speak to you through an audible voice, but he still speaks. So, uh, uh, now many people did not understand uh, how, how, to, how to hear the voice of God. Because having known the different ways through which God speaks to you, they did not understand how am I able to hear the voice of God. And this is how you are able to hear the voice of God. The first question that I have for you is, ask yourself this, the question is, 
when you were growing up, when you were a young kid, how were you able to listen? How were you able to discern the voice of your father? I'm meaning your biological father, your physical father. How were you able to know that this is my father speaking to me? How were you, even when a stranger came and spoke in a different voice, you were able to know that this is not your father, that this is, that this is someone else? You were able to develop a language, a pattern, where you were able to listen to your father's voice or your mother's voice. So it's the same thing with God. The, it's, it's about relationship. The more you spend time with him, the more you spend time praying, the more you spend time reading his word, the more you spend time reading his, his, his scripture. That's why in Joshua it says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. Day and night. So now listening to hearing God's voice becomes automatic. It is not something that you struggle with. It. It's not something that you go and someone teaches you. It is not something that you, you start searching for or seeking for. It is something that is automatic. Once you enter God's presence, once you start reading his word, and it, the word becomes part of you, it becomes automatic. You start listening to God's voice. So that's how you listen to God's voice. That's how you are able to listen to God's voice. And now, having known that, there are things in your life that you need to cut off. You need to cut off distractions. Distractions like you, it could be movies that you are watching, movies that are blocking the voice of God. It could be uh, the music that you are listening to, because there the, 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 the are a lot of the, the are a lot of songs that could seem as though they are Christian songs. This is what the enemy is doing, as though they are Christian songs, but they have nothing to do with the word of God. If they are just empty words. So you go out, you, you go in a, in, in a Sunday service and you begin worshipping, but the words that are behind it, it does not bring God close to you. So if you want to know uh, that it is God who is speaking to you, uh, whether you, are, you have had a dream, you have had a vision, or someone has spoken to you, or if you want to know that it is really God who has spoken to you, that word must align with the word of God. That word that is spoken to you must be in line with the scriptures. If what someone has spoken to you, or if all of a sudden you wake up and you had a dream or a vision, and the vision is not in line with the word of God, take that vision off. That vision is not from God. That dream is not from God. It could be a dream. Uh, it, could, it could be your own thoughts. It could be the dream from the enemy, or it could be some, anything else. So learn how to hear God's voice. Because God wants to direct you. God wants to show you hidden treasures. But not until you can hear his voice, you cannot see them. Because Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. My sheep know my voice. And they follow me. So, if you are God's sheep, you are supposed to hear his voice. Just as I say in the kid, a child who's growing up, the more he spends time with his family, the more he spends time with his father, the more he becomes like his father. The more he, 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 he learns the language of his father. The more you spend time with your parents, whether you, it's English that you speak or Spanish or French, the more you learn Spanish, the more you learn how to speak in English. And there are some things that you learn from your father. There are some things that you learn that they were not, they were not right to do. 
And if you did them, your father would discipline you. The same thing with God. In the process when he's teaching you, there's some things that when you do them in a wrong way, he will discipline you. Just as a loving father disciplines his child, God will do the same because he loves you so much that he does not want you to perish. 